Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, no matter where you are in the world. This is Howie and I'm here to help you win with money. Today is June 9, 2021. We are in week number 23, middle of the week, hump day. Week number 23 of the year. And let's do some trades today. But before we do, if you are on Facebook and you want to join a group, Join this one, Investing 102. You can level up your thinking, options, real estate, stock, insurance, bitcoins, everything else. Come there and, and chat and learn something new. And before we go on, let's take a quick look at the markets. It's starting to turn red right now. And let's see. Well, I guess the Dow was already red, but you see everything else is turning, which is okay. I'm looking at a few things. Biogen is up, which is good for me. I have some Biogen. Uh, GameStop, I don't care about. Right, I do own. I've been tracking a few other things, see what's popular right now, see what's not. So let's do some trades. So what I'm looking at is one of these SPYs. You'll see maybe something like this one. I haven't rolled the untested side up, and I want to move it into a few bucks up. So you'll see I'll, I'll check the date. So that was on a Thursday, I believe. The fourth was, oh, that was on a Friday. So today, so a few days have passed. So I want to roll this and look at the premium. If you care about the premium, this is a 50 cent spread and the 50 cents have narrowed and it's under 50 cents. In fact, if this was 22, that would be a 40 cent spread. So I already made some money. So what I can do is roll this even for more premium. So that's what I'm going to do now. And we're going to have to make sure you pick both legs. So that's the... The one with the four contracts for June. So if you see what I'm doing, I'm going to roll the uh, untested side up. So I'm going to hit the roll button. I'm going to make sure I reset the date back. And I think on this one, I want to take a little bit more risk. So we'll go to a free 91, which is really not that bad. This one should be a free 81. Uh, let me let me see how much math let's go a little bit higher we'll go to a free 83 that's still pretty safe and let me just check because the highest one the free 94 you see that free 95 but those are going to expire soon so maybe what I want to do is take a little bit higher risk on this one maybe I can go free 95 I'll go a little bit higher risk collect a little bit more premium all the other ones are going to expire. So even though they look like they're more in danger, they're really not. Because I'm going to close them out. Even if the market drops huge, I'm going to start closing those out. This one's a little bit further in time. So I'll, I'll bear the risk of that. I'm okay with taking some additional risks here. So let's put that in. Let's see if it will go across. And it, sometimes it takes a little bit. Sometimes I have to lower it a penny or two. So you see that is not didn't get across yet so let's let's just lower this and if you look here it looked like it just went across I did it, it, it they did it in different lots and different orders but that's okay let's see what we can do next so the next thing I'm thinking about doing is rolling the call side down so normally you see I have it at 436 this is at a 440 with a few extra days I may lower it because I do think 440 is kind of safe still. I don't think it's going to get tested. So I, this one's already at a 426. I already have that as a higher risk. But I may lower this one, collect some premium here. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Hit the row button. Remember, each one is a separate trade. So I always view it as a separate trade. But you also got to look at your portfolio as a complete risk to see what each trade is a little bit different. So let me fix this one up. So here, by lowering it, you see that? it's giving me a pretty juicy premium because it's pretty nearby it's pretty close but i'm actually moving it closer so what's the risk by lowering this it shoots right past my uh my options and you lose a little bit of money but in my case i'm actually going to make a couple thousand dollars on my 401k plan so i should be fine the loss in my options training will not be offset by the by the gain in what i make in my 401k plan so this is the way you got to think about it don't just look at one trade. I'm willing to take a little bit more risk on the call side, but not on the put side. So hopefully you will understand that. This is the reason why collecting premiums and making 
you know, 50 bucks a week, 100 bucks a week, or whatever it may be, it's worth it because my 401k plan doesn't really make much except for the dividends that you get once a year, or maybe you get payment, uh, you know, with sometimes mutual funds do pay it out in quarterly or half a year. But the point is, you don't make a lot on that move. Here's a quick look. You see this? This trade is the last one that I just did. I reduced it $4. Um, so yeah, $4 from here to here. So you see that? That's a different from the other trade. So let me see. Can I find some other stuff in the next uh, four or five minutes? So I'm going to do the same thing with Visa. This is the untested side. I need to roll this one up. And I don't know what I'm going to get for this. You see, I'm starting to lower it. I couldn't get $20 for it. We'll see what we can get. We'll just keep on. Oh, there it goes. It went across for 20 So let me show you that. Here you go. I did the same thing. I moved this up $10. I'm moving it much closer. It was a uh, 205. I'm moving it up $10 a risk. So here's now my new risk. If Visa, it's at 230 it needs to drop $15 and then I'm at risk in this iron condor. But I think with time, I think I should be okay. And the market's almost closed. I did it again on an SPY. I did have a cover call that I just rolled up for a small premium. You can see that. That's about 40 cents premium. I moved it up $1 on Kronos. But I think I'm out of time. Okay, market is closed, and I just wanted to show you something else. This is a portfolio that was tracking this week. Since last Friday, this thing has jumped well over, I don't know, seven, eight grand or something like that. But most of it is because of Biogen. Biogen has popped up, and it was less than $260 last week, so it's done really well. Anyway, just want to let you know what was going on, and... Here is the final result. I'm just going to hit refresh and you see that market did end down, but who knows what's going to happen. So as always, I don't worry about these small fluctuations. Don't forget, let's do this together. Let's do this $1 at a time and always have a profitable day. Bye-bye.